Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. Coming to you from Camp Morgan today down in West Virginia. It is first thing in the morning. It's about 8 a.m. Uh, I left the house about 5.30 this morning. I just got down here to do some work on this driveway getting into the new property. If you are new to our channel, I'll kind of bring you up to speed real quick. Uh, we live in western Pennsylvania, but we recently purchased about 40 acres of beautiful property here in Preston County, West Virginia. We bought this property for a couple different reasons. Uh, one, it will be like a recreational property and an investment property. Just something to hold on to. Today I brought with me my uh, Mort's dump trailer. And by the way, this thing pulls like a dream behind the grocery getter. Tracks very nice, rides nice and smooth. Uh, the reason I brought this down, I'm not sure if I'll get to it today. But if I get back up in there, you know, a couple hundred feet, I'll probably get into some of those uh, red pine and maybe even a white pine. If I do, I may haul a few saw logs back in the dump trailer. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that far today, but I figured I'd rather have my trailer with me than not. Now this machine probably looks familiar to many of you, but this is not mine. Uh, this is a rental machine. This is a KX57-5. I have the 57-4 at home. I rented this from Garrett Equipment Rentals. Really, really nice people. They're about a half hour from here, have tons of equipment. So I think they'll come in uh, pretty handy. Now the weather forecast for today doesn't look great. They're calling for rain on and off today. Uh, after lunch, I think they're calling for some storms, but we'll see what we get done. The goal here is just to keep working my way up through the woods there where we want to take the driveway. I'm going to have to take down some trees. There's a little cherry right there, a little white pine, dead white pine. I think this maple's going to have to go. Before I leave here today, what I'd like to have is, you know, like a pile of firewood poles, a pile of brush, a pile of topsoil, and maybe another couple hundred feet of road up through here. I'm not going to stone it today. I'll get everything close to grade, and then uh, later this week, I think Melissa and I will bring a tractor down, some geotextile, we'll get some more loads of stone, and just kind of keep working our way back into the woods.
Okay, I got this uh, cherry and little white pine just about on the ground. That big white pine right there, it's going to come down as well. So I aimed both of these trees at that one. Right now I'm going to pull my truck and trailer, get it off the road. There's hardly any traffic at all on this road. Uh, last time I was down here, I don't know, we were here for four or five hours. And I think there was uh, two cars and a side-by-side. Earlier, I mentioned that today's video was sponsored by HelloFresh, and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with HelloFresh, they deliver fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes right to your door. If I were to say HelloFresh meals are delicious, that would be an understatement. The entire family is a big fan of HelloFresh, even daughter Eva, who is by far our most picky eater. Getting back into the fall season can be busy, but weeknights can be made much easier with foolproof step-by-step -step recipes ready in around 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh helps you reach your goals. Fit and wholesome recipes make it easy to eat well without sacrificing flavor so you can maintain your goals and feel good about the food choices with HelloFresh. HelloFresh also reduces waste. They include pre-portioned ingredients that means less prep for you and less wasted food. Our family has been using HelloFresh now for almost two years and we all love it. If we didn't, I wouldn't be here talking to you about it today. If you want more information, go to HelloFresh.com and use code OUTDOORS16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. of a southern man, daughter of a free man, children of the civil war, blackbird on a limb, both of them diving in deeper than they've been before, and who Can't fight it, can't stop And if they get caught It's gonna be hell to pay So baby, meet me down by the road No river where the cool dark water meets the full moonlight If we can sneak away, maybe we could be together Can't nobody stop in love tonight Didn't know they'd been followed down through the hollow till a hand grabbed her by the arm Blood's thicker than water But even his father ain't never gonna do her no harm And ooh, oh, Whiskey on his breath They were scared to death And he was meaner than the devil himself It was him or them can call it a sin, but the road no river won't tell. So baby, meet me down by the road, no river where the cool dark water meets the full moonlight. If we can sneak away, maybe we could be together. Can't nobody stop in love Stop this love, can't nobody 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 stop this love, can't nob
this love Can't nobody stop this love Can't nobody stop this love Can't nobody stop this love All right, we're making some progress here. I have some more trees to come out down by the entrance here, but I'll get back to that in a little bit. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is get a nice path through here to where it opens up some up there. Uh, next up, I'll take this big white pine down right here. I'm going to drop it that direction up there. I'll limb it out, pile up the brush to the left side, and then I'll probably come back down here and clean up this pile. That's a mix of uh, a few firewood poles in there and some brush. I don't like handling things twice, but uh, I don't have much options here getting started.
Alrighty, I got uh, three, yeah, three nice white pine logs here so far. But that's not really the goal today. The goal is to get up in here a little bit. Uh, next up, I'm going to tackle this big stump here. Now this is going to take a little bit, I think. Uh, that's a pretty big tree, pretty big stump. The only thing I have going for me is I can see some of the roots are kind of pretty close to the surface. So I'll start working around the outside a little bit. Just kind of test the waters once in a while. Every once in a while, give a little tug, and uh, we'll get it out. But it's going to take a little bit, I think. It's not real hot today, but it is very humid, and it's nice having that air-conditioned cab. You get out, run the chainsaw for a little bit, you get heated up, jump right back in the air conditioner. I was just thinking, you know, I got these three logs out of one tree. Can you imagine how much lumber's in here? Now, I don't have any plans to come in here and, and cut it all. But boy, if you did. been digging on this stump now for about 45 minutes. I actually shut the cameras off uh, because I was afraid the batteries were going to die before I got the stump out. But I just have it wiggling right now. But I have dug all around it, partially underneath it, and man, it has been tight. I'm not even sure how I'm going to get out of the hole. What I'll probably have to do is pull on a little bit, put some dirt back underneath of it, and just kind of roll it on out of there. We'll get it out, but uh, this has been quite the challenge right here. got a uh, massive hole to fill up here I'm gonna try to get it you know compacted as best I can because this is gonna be right in the center of the driveway basically but I am gonna be using that Gia textile on here so if I get it compacted pretty well uh, it should be good shape up now. I'm going to take a little break and uh, head into town, get a bite to eat and uh, something to drink. I should have packed a cooler today, but I did not. Uh, that's not something I was thinking about at 4.30 this morning when I was getting ready. So when I get back, I think what I'll do, I'll clean up the rest of this top right here. What I'll do, I'll pull it down here, limit out. I may get, uh, I don't know, I was thinking about getting one more saw log out of there, but I don't think so. I'll pull this thing out, get it cleaned up over here in the pile, and then uh, down by the excavator, there's a maple tree there. There's a dead white pine right there. It should probably come out. And then another little stub sticking up, a couple small ones. But uh, looking at it now, my goal is to get everything from the trailer 
you know, up into here, kind of looking like this. Once you start smashing that brush down, uh, it doesn't take up as much space. It really doesn't. I won't have too big of a pile here when I'm done. Should work out. So this video is going to run kind of long, so I think I'll break this down into two parts. But I appreciate y'all being here, and thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to check out their link in the description. Catch you on the next one.